The World Bank is an organization which aims to alleviate extreme poverty all over the world by providing loans and technical expertise for development projects. While one would hope that the funds they provide for these projects would all reach their intended targets to do things like build schools and improve water sanitation, the unfortunate truth is that some of this money is lost to corruption, fraud, and collusion committed by those involved in the projects. This is an example of a project funded by the World Bank. Uh, the, the contracts for this project were awarded to two different companies. The company that worked on the top half of the road did an excellent job using their funds appropriately. However, the company that worked on the bottom half <laughs> was funneling a lot of the money for its own uses and the end result was an inferior and unacceptable level of quality. It is estimated that $900 billion are drained from the developing world every year by activities like this and other types of fraud, corruption, and collusion. To combat this issue, the World Bank has an investigative unit which relies on receiving complaints from those who know of or suspect of wrongdoing in a World Bank project, contract, or company. The process that is currently used is both time-consuming and resource-intensive requiring an average of 15 months from the time a complaint is received to the time it can be determined whether any action can be taken based on this allegation. In the end, only 40% of the investigations end up being substantiated, which is the situation in which the World Bank is able to take some action. Our team has been working with the World Bank investigators this summer to help them more effectively target their limited resources and select which of these cases to investigate. We started with a data set of past investigations with known outcomes to, de to develop a predictive model that could tell from a new allegation whether it was likely to be substantiated or not. By processing all of the allegations that the World Bank receives through this predictive model, we can provide them with a ranked list showing them which ones they'd be more effective by pursuing in investigations. An additional benefit of the analysis that we performed was to provide links between different sets of data at the World Bank, which were previously kept separate. This allows an investigator to see more information about a contract or company in their system when they're investigating an allegation. So in the current system, World Bank investigators work very hard and process a lot of cases and end up achieving a 40% substantiation rate. We predict that by using the more effective targeting in our model, they could raise this to a 70% substantiation rate. Not only will this help them more effectively process the large set of complaints they receive, it will allow them to free up their time and resources to pursue a more proactive investigation approach where they can look for fraud, corruption, and collusion in more places. When the World Bank is more uh, more able to combat and avoid these, these types of behaviors, they will be more effective at pursuing their goal of reducing poverty around the world. Thank you.